Before you can add attachments to a table or individual items, you need to install the Attachments view. In our first example, we'll install the Attachments view for the New Views folder. This is where you might add attachments associated with the organization in general, like Articles of Incorporation. Adding the view to this folder will also enable you to access a complete list of all attachments in your books. Using the Database Explorer, click on the New Views folder, then click anywhere on the table on the right. Issue the command View Install Attachments. Now we can see the Attachments tab. Details and List Views are available. To add an attachment, use the File Import command. Giving the attachment a name and description will make it easier to identify or find in a list. Using consistent naming conventions will also help you to group similar attachments. We'll demonstrate that shortly. When you click on the attachment, you can see the image in the detail pane below. Attachments that are JPEG, PNG, GIF, or TIFF images less than 8 megabytes will be displayed directly. With attachments like PDFs and Microsoft Office documents, you'll be prompted to double-click to view the attachment using the appropriate application. In our second example, we'll install the Attachments view for purchase invoices. Here we might add scans of expense receipts, invoices, and other attachments related to purchases. Since we want to add the attachments to individual transactions, we'll install the Attachments view in the Transaction Detail pane. Now, we can add scanned receipts for the Petty Cash Expense transaction on March 28th. You can resize images in the Detail pane using the Resize button or by scrolling the mouse wheel while pressing the Control key. As we just saw, attachments imported into a table are appended and duplication is not prevented. Of course, you can always delete an attachment which has been imported by mistake. When the Detail pane is the active window, only one attachment can be imported at a time. If an attachment already exists, it's replaced by the attachment that's imported. Some examples of useful attachments in a set of books for nonprofit housing includes things like floor plans, which you can attach to individual units in the Unit Maintenance Report. Documents which serve as proof of income can be attached to RG items for subsidized members or tenants. Earlier, we added an Attachments view to the New Views folder. Notice how all attachments in this set of books can be seen here. So far, we've looked at the List view of attachments. Let's take a quick look at the Details view, which provides additional information. Both the List and Details views can be sorted by any column by clicking on the column header. This makes it easier to find isolated attachments you're having trouble locating. You can also see how having consistent naming conventions helps you to organize similar attachments into blocks in this kind of list. If you add an attachments view in the wrong place or decide you don't want it there anymore, you can remove it by positioning anywhere in the view and reissuing the view install attachments command. Since the view already exists, you'll be given the option of removing it. Note that removing the attachment view does not delete the attachments that were added. To do that, delete the attachments themselves before removing the view. A few final points about attachments. Attachments stored in a new view set of books are not synced with the file that was originally imported. So if the original file is changed and you want those changes reflected in your books, you need to re-import the modified version and replace the prior version. Attachments can be cut and pasted using the same keyboard shortcuts used to cut and paste items in other Windows programs. Attachments can be exported at any time using the File Export command. When you back up a set of books, all attachments are backed up as well. Attachments are audited and details can be found in the Audit Trail for a set of books.